All right, let's take a look at question number five. In uh, problem five, we're rotating the region about the y-axis, and the y-axis is equivalent to, um, let's change the color, it's equivalent to x is equal to zero. And it can be written in the function form, um, f of y is equal to zero. All right, so this is the for formulation we're going to be implementing when representing the axis of rotation within the formula. All right, so let's um, write down the formula for rotation in the direction of the y-axis. If you're going in the direction of the y-axis, um, you can view this as the bottom in this direction. The negative um, side of the y-axis is the bottom, and then uh, the positive piece is the top. All right, so the formula for the volume <clears throat> of a solid rotated in the direction of the y-axis about um, r of x, I mean e of x as our axis of rotation can be given by pi times the integral from y equals a, the lower limits of integration, to y equals b of squiggly bracket. Now pi times radius square is the area of the ultra disk of the bigger disk. So it's going to be the radius of the bigger disk is um, the function on the top as a function of y minus the axis of rotation, a of y. <clears throat> so pi r squared gives you the area. Okay, this is the area of the, outer, of the larger disk. Now the disk that's within the um, larger disk, the inner disk, can be given as the function at the bottom, as a function of y minus the, the same axis of rotation, and I call that square. So pi r squared gives you the area of the inner disk, and the difference between these two areas will give you the area of the washer, okay? And then when you integrate it um, from a to b, it gives you the volume of the resulting solid. So this is dy. Now one thing you want to note is that um, all the variables are y's. So when you're rotating in the direction of the y-axis, all your variables have to be y's. Now, this formula um, is applicable if the function on the top is um, greater than the function on the bottom and is greater than or equal to the axis of rotation in, as a function of y. Okay. Now, what if we had the reverse, as we did um, in problems number four? If we have a reversal, the, we have to use a different formula, which is pi times the integral from y equals a to b of, um, now we have the axis of rotation as a function of y minus the function on the bottom of the function of y squared. Now this becomes the area of the alpha disk, I'll tell you why in a minute, minus the function on the top, I'm sorry, minus um, the axis of rotation, again, minus the function on the top of y, this is the radius, square, dy, okay? So this is a formula if the axis of rotation is greater than or equal to the function on the top and is greater than or equal to the function on the bottom. In the direction of the y, you can look at the top as the right function and you can look at the function on the bottom as the left function. Okay? They basically mean the same thing. The beauty of um, these problems compared to problems 2, 3, 4 is that we have one unique top and bottom function or left and right function. So our integral expression will be much more e um, easier to write. So now let's go ahead and uh, address question number five. This function right here will be our, our axis of rotation. We also have to identify our limits of integration. We're going from two all the way to four. I mean from zero all the way to two, from zero to two, and then we are going to determine our top and bottom functions. In the direction of the, of the y, we are rotating in the direction of the y-axis, this function right here becomes the bottom function. Now, how do we express this function as a function of y? 
that's easy. You have um, f of x is equal to root x, so you have y is equal to root x. If you solve this for x, you have x is equal to y squared. So this function, even though it's the top in the direction of the x-axis, in the direction of the y-axis, it becomes the bottom function of y equals what? y squared. Okay? Now this function, even though it's the bottom function in the direction of the x, in the direction of the y, we just have to solve this function for um, y. So we have y equals x minus 2. If you want to get x by itself, you add 2 to both sides, you have y plus 2. Okay, so this function right here, function, now becomes a function on the top in the direction of the x-axis, in the direction of the y-axis, equals um, y plus 2. Okay? All right, so these are the ones we're going to be using um, for when we're rotating in the direction of the y-axis. But if we're going to the x-axis, then we have to switch to the other ones as we did in 2, 3, 4. Now let's uh, take a look at problem 5. The beauty of this problem is we have exactly one unique region because there are no switches in our top or bottom functions as it were in number 2, 3, 4. So we need to find, um, the, let's find out what our limits of integration are. The coordinates of this point as we determined before is 4, 2, so we're going from 0 to 2. So we have, um, we're going from y equals 0 from y equals 0 to y equals 2. All right, we have our limits of integration taken care of. Now, which formula are we applying here? Are we using the top or bottom formula? Now, this is our axis of rotation right here, a of at, uh, y equals 0. Is it beneath the two functions or above? We can clearly see that the y-axis is clearly beneath both functions. So we're going to be using this formula right here because this formula requires the two functions to be above the axis of rotation, okay? So um, <clears throat> before we even make use of the formula, let's uh, write out what our functions are. We have um, f of, um, let's see, we need the top function and then the bottom function. So the top function is gonna be blue this time. So let's write that correctly function on the top, or you can call it the uh, right function, I'm going to call it f of t, of y is equal to y plus 2, okay, and then the bottom function um, is the function of y is equal to y squared, and our axis of rotation a of y is equal to um, 0, okay? So that's what we have when we're rotating it about this axis right here. So let's make sure, see everything, f of y, y plus 2, f of y, a of y, and these are y values. So that's how it must be if you're rotating in the direction of the y-axis. Now that we have everything listed, we'll just pull it together and write the expression for the volume, okay? So V is equal to pi times the integral from 0 to 2. In this problem, we're just setting it up. We're not actually evaluating it. So from 0 to 2 of the radius of the bigger disk, is, uh, we, need, we have pi, we need r squared. So looking at the formula, function on the top. So function on the top is y plus 2 y plus 2 minus um, the function that determines the axis of rotation in this case is 0. Okay, 0. So we have pi r what? Pi r squared minus, then we need another r squared again. So the inner function now is y squared minus the axis of rotation. Axis of rotation is 0 square dy. Okay? <clears throat> so let's make sure our, our expression is correct. Let's compare with our formula. So we have pi, pi good. Integral from a to b, 0 to 2 good. Function at the top, let's make sure it's correct. So function at the top is y plus 2. So that's what we have. y plus 2 minus the axis of rotation. Uh, y equals 0, good. Um, 
function on the bottom, y square minus x over rotation again, square dy. Okay, excellent. Now let's um, take a look at question number six. Question six, we have x equals negative one. Now, um, x equals negative one is, uh, is equivalent to our axis of rotation, a of y being equal to negative one. Now, where is the location of this line relative to the two functions? Is it at the top of the two functions or the bottom of the two functions? Now, remember, we are standing on the y-axis like this, and this is the top, and this is the bottom, okay? So these are the two functions. This is the top, this is the bottom. The line x equals negative 1 is somewhere over here, and it's clearly at the bottom of the two functions, okay? So what does that mean? Since the functions are bigger than the axis of rotation, we're still going to use the same formula, the first variation that we used. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and, and do that. Um, so we're going to have number six is going to be pretty straightforward. Let's list everything we need first and then we can compute the volume. Number six, we're going from the same limits of integration, y equals zero to y equals two. And then um, <clears throat> the function on the top is still the same, y equals two. These ones never change, okay? The only thing that change is the axis of rotation. Uh, function on the bottom is still y squared. And then um, axis of rotation is now, what was it? Negative one, I think. Negative one, okay? So a of y is now equal to negative one. <clears throat> now these are all the ingredients we need to create out the equation of our the expression for the volume. When this region is rotated about the line, x equals negative 1. All right, so we have the volume equals pi times the integral from 0 to 2 of, <clears throat> let's see, um, the kind of formula func function on the top as y plus 2, y plus 2 minus the axis of rotation. So minus, minus and a minus makes you say what? Plus. Okay, plus the axis of rotation, which is 1. Um, this is pi. Uh, let's change that call. Pi r. This is the radius right here. So what do we have to, what must we do here? So it's pi r radius um, square. So let's do it this way. Pi radius square. Okay. The squiggly bracket here, so we're doing this track. So this is the radius of the uh, outer disk minus. Now we're going to go into the inner function. The inner function is y square minus the radius. Axis of rotation is negative one, so minus times the minus makes you say plus plus one. Close that. This is the radius pi r what pi r square. Okay, pi r square dy. So there goes your the volume if the um, region is rotated about the line y equals negative 1. You see, the only difference between this and that is that we just changed the 0 to negative 1 and resolve the sign. All right? Okay, let's take a look at um, x equals 5. Now, what about x equals 5? We have x equals 5. Where is it located relative to these regions? x equals 5 is somewhere over here, which is clearly above the two functions. So since um, the line, the axis of rotation, let's write it in function form. The axis of rotation, this is equivalent to, uh, it's equivalent to, um, a of y equals 5. Now, since it is um, above both of the functions in the y orientation and the side-to-side -side orientation, or to the right of both functions, that means we have to make use of the second formula here, okay? Axis of rotation being bigger than the two functions to its left. All right, so before we uh, write down the expression for the integral that shows the volume, when a region is rotated about the axis, 
let's write down the pieces of the formula that we need to generate the expression okay so let's start with the limits of integration I'm going to start from y equals 0 to y equals 2 the same as before uh, the function on the top is still y plus 2 the function on the bottom is still y square now the axis of rotation is different axis of rotation is now a of y equals 5 I think yes 5 all right now we're ready to put everything into the formula so the volume is simply going to be pi times the integral from 0 to 2 of um, the radius of the outer disk is going to be the axis of rotation a of y minus okay let's put in the value okay the axis of rotation is 5 so 5 minus the function at the bottom which is y square that's the radius so we have pi r square pi r square okay so let's go up let's make sure it's consistent you see what the formula says a of y axis of rotation minus the function on the bottom square so that's pi r square that tells you the area of the bigger disk now the smaller disk the inner disk we just need the radius, right? So minus the axis of rotation again, which is 5, minus the outer function, which is 1 plus 2. Now you have to be really careful to put this in parentheses or else you have a grouping error. So you close that, that is r square dy. Okay, so that's basically. Um, the volume of the region when it is rotated around the line, around the line um, x equals 5. Okay, so that's that's that.